Well, it is officially time that I share with you the news that you were probably already expecting. We are moving. We are moving across the country. And today I'm sharing why we are moving out of Portland, Oregon, where we're moving to, our decisions regarding that. Um, and then I'm going to have another video coming out about all the details in selling our house here in Portland and buying our new house in our new location. And all of the details that went into that because I feel like a lot has happened um, over the last seven months since this whole process has been going on and I haven't been sharing about any of it on YouTube but we'll talk about why um, but there have just been so many things that have just fallen into place in such a miraculous way that I can't even like I couldn't have even planned myself I'm a Christian and a believer in God and I feel like all of this has really just been like God showing us that this is the right path for us to take and so I want to share all of like just the the details with you in that so that video will be coming out but this video <laughs> sharing why we're moving where we're moving to if you've been following me for a while then you know that this has been on our hearts for a couple years now um to move out of portland oh the first thing that i will address is that i haven't shared any of this publicly a lot of you have guessed that we are moving and um i haven't been meaning to like fully drop hints but just some things that i just couldn't fully hide but the only reason why i was trying to not say anything um it's just privacy for my own family i didn't want our house to be listed and have people find it that kind of freaked me out um and i also just didn't want to share anything too soon if everything wasn't falling into place as we had planned um but again in tomorrow's video you'll hear about how everything fell into place in seriously a better way that i ever could have imagined with selling our house and buying our new one um and so all the details will be in that video which if you're watching this at a later time i'll leave it up here but those are the reasons why i haven't shared all of those details but um you may have picked up on it a lot of these details that you may have picked up on of uh, we sold a car earlier this year in like february or march we sold one of our vehicles because we weren't planning to take it with us um to our new house across the country and then it opened up more space in our garage for boxes for purchasing other things which I'll also get into more of probably in the next video um so there was that thing and then also if you've been following along with my budget report videos I've been sharing about our opportunity fund and that has been towards moving and all of the costs associated with that so um a lot of you picked up on it and I feel like I've been keeping a secret from you and I haven't been trying to be deceitful or anything like that um but just trying to have that privacy and protect my family um with sharing our lives on the internet also i am filming this video in end of july but we close on our house um at the beginning of august i won't be posting this video until we officially close because again i just want everything to go through and i didn't want to share anything until we actually got to close with selling this house also i will be leaving timestamps in the video that you can check out if you're trying to get to like a certain part so why we're leaving oregon so my husband jacob and i um we have been born and raised in portland oregon and like we lived here we went to college in salem which is an hour south of portland and then we got married we moved back up to portland we've lived here ever since both of our families live here our parents live here um our siblings don't live here my sister lives in southern california jacob's sister lives in kentucky we are the only ones who live in portland for with our like siblings um so it's just us and our parents now i before i get into the reasons why we're leaving oregon i want to share that first off oregon is the most beautiful place if you want to come visit come visit in the summer knowing that we're moving i am very <laughs> sad for my um to miss my oregon summer because that is like where it's at like right now is just prime time i have never been happier i just like love the the warm days the long days the all of it is just so good oregon summers can cannot be beat pacific northwest um and oregon's beautiful we have the mountains we have the beach we have the rolling hills all the trees it's it's gorgeous um i also want to say that just because i don't like one part of oregon doesn't mean that ever everyone feels that way and that is something that i love about the united states of america you can get basically like any climate any political area like you name it like you could find a place that you want to be and that's what i like about the country 
Um, but we've just realized like Oregon is not the biggest fit for us. So I will share my reasons, but if you live in Oregon and you're like, no, 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 I love that part of it. Totally. I know that people do love these things that I don't like about Oregon. And again, it's great that everyone's different. Okay. First thing why we're leaving is the climate. So like I said, Oregon summers cannot be beat. The rest of the year is miserable for me. Miserable. I have seasonal depression living here. Um, you probably know if you don't live in Oregon, you probably know that it rains a lot. The rain is one thing, but what's honestly worse is the gloom. How it's just gray skies and gloomy and rainy from mid-October through this year until like mid-May. It was a very long winter time and it's miserable and I can do it for like a week and then I'm like okay I can't like do this anymore when it's like 40 degrees and rainy and cloudy it's just it's awful the great thing about Oregon is we do have a more temperate climate where we don't get a lot of snow none of us know how to drive in the snow because we get snow maybe once a year and so when it snows an inch we no one drives you can't do it but then also in the summers, like right now, we're at like mid 90s for highs for the temperature for the summer. And it's wonderful. Low humidity, like glamorous. So it though, it's just like in the wintertime, 40 degrees and rain and gloom for months and months and months on end. And once you get through the holidays, once you get to like January, it is just, I just like cannot do it anymore. I'm depressed. I just hate it and I've been this way for a long time but now that I have kids one thing that I know a lot of you do like the 1000 hours outside and any weather's outside weather oh, totally I get it but as a mom like having to put your kids in their coats and the boots and the hat and the gloves do all these things to go outside to then be cold and stand in the rain and it's just not the vibe that I want to be part of um as it's miserable for me personally. So I will tell you that we made this decision to move in January <laughs> when we were at our peak, um, get me out of here phase. And I also expected like once we got into summertime that I'd be like romanticizing Oregon, which I have been, but I'm also still really excited for a move. Okay, the other thing is the higher cost of living. Now it's not LA, it's not San Francisco, it's not in New York, it's not Seattle, I get that, but it's still a higher cost of living. Um, our house, house is not is expensive and for for what i feel like what it is um and i just know that there are other places that have a more affordable cost of living other things are are cheaper and, and as well as housing but yeah it's it's a higher cost of living than a lot of other places in the united states and if you've been following my channel you know that we are money-minded and living somewhere with a lower cost of living is more enticing the other thing is the high tax rate. Oregon state income tax can go up to 9.9% .9 of your income, and it's one of the highest income tax rates in the country. We do not have sales tax, which is great, and another benefit that I'll be talking about here soon. Um, but being taxed on your income, it's a lot. We also do pay property taxes. I know they're not like the highest highest, but the property taxes for our house this last year was still over $6,000. Um, and our house isn't any, our house is like a basic house, that, you know. The other thing, I don't want this video to get like political. Again, everyone has their different, different things that you like or don't like about Oregon. Um, but Portland has become kind of a dumpster fire. <laughs> and a lot of people, um, on both ends of the political spectrum would agree on this. Um, I used to work in downtown Portland and I loved it. I worked there 2014 to 2016. I worked there with my husband. Um, so I was grateful to have someone there, but you know, even, even working downtown, people pooping on your front steps of your office, not the best. Um, it's very sad to be down there. It's it's a sad crisis that's happening in Portland. Um, but since pandemic, I've been downtown once, maybe twice. No desire, no desire to go. Um, lots of businesses are still boarded up. A lot of things that happened to Portland during the pandemic and it's not anywhere that I wanna be. We live in the suburbs, do not have any desire to go downtown. And so in that case, we th sit here and think, 
why do we live in a higher cost of living area if we don't want to be downtown we don't want to be in the city that being said we also just do not want to send our kids to public school here in the portland area um we live in a neighborhood with a great school district but even so there's still lots of issues that i just would not feel comfortable um sending my kids to public school here and um, a lot of people again on both sides of the political spectrum i know who have opted to not send their kids to public school here in the portland area so are you ready for where we're moving here's the the big announcement we are moving to arizona we're moving to phoenix and this may be a shocker but um let me talk about why we're moving to phoenix and you may have suspected that we we're going to move to texas and so i'll also touch on why we're not moving to texas but first off arizona so we visited for the first and only time um last march 2022 and we visited friends who moved there we had friends very close friends to us here in our church community um and they moved to phoenix and they absolutely love it so we went to go visit them we stayed with them um we had our son peter who was almost two at the time and then i was very pregnant i was third trimester pregnant with our second and so i feel like that trip in general was kind of hard to gauge because we had a toddler with us i was very pregnant and so that made it kind of hard um, compared to we went to go visit Texas like nine months earlier and we went just myself and my husband Jacob which was our first getaway since having a baby so I feel like we went to visit Texas and it was kind of like this like secondary honeymoon in Dallas um, because it was just the two of us whereas compared to that to Arizona when I was very pregnant had a toddler to chase after it was just a different feel but we visited and we thought it was such a it was beautiful area and our friends absolutely love it um, we've actually known more people who've moved from Portland to Phoenix and love it. And so I'm grateful to hear that from them and um, seems like that's been a place that they've really enjoyed. So what drew us in is first off the sunshine. I know that you're going to say, Marissa, do you know how hot it gets in Phoenix? Yes, it is like over 110 this week in Phoenix, which is crazy. Um, I was talking to our friends in Arizona and I'm like, oh my gosh, like how hot is it you know like all you know being like how are you handling the heat and they're like oh like once you're past 105 like it all just feels the same I'm like that eh, fair enough um and it's a it's a dry heat so it feels a lot different and also like lots of pools and things like that but also when i talk to people who um, are from portland here who we've told we're moving to arizona they're like you know arizona is really hot and you're gonna have to be inside in the summer and i'm like yeah no i i get that like we may spend more of our summertime inside, but like I said, with living in Oregon for us, October through April, I dread going outside because of the weather. Whereas in Phoenix, it could be more like June through August that we're not going to want to be out, outside as much. And that's a shorter amount of time. The other thing that I love is just that more sunshine. And so if I have to be inside in the summer, I can at least look out and see sunshine, which is nice. It feels a lot better than staying inside in Oregon in the winter and it's rainy and gloomy and 38 degrees and raining sideways and gray skies while I sit inside. So that's the comparison that I feel like. So I'm prepared for that, um, but excited for more sunshine. Phoenix also has a lower cost of living and which is something that we were looking for to make our money go further um, and we can afford a bigger house. I'll get into the details of our new house um, in the next video, but we're really excited about our house. It's going to be over a thousand square feet bigger, a much bigger yard, um, nicer house. Not that our house right now is, you know, is bad or anything like that, um, but it's it's going to be nice in that house that we're going to have in Phoenix. We would not be able to afford here in Portland. Um, so the house that we're buying in Phoenix is actually cheaper than our house that we're selling here in Portland. So it was a good financial move on that part of it because we're getting more house um, there and we're really excited to have that space. The other really awesome thing about Arizona is um, a program that they have for homeschool and private school families. So Arizona has this program called ESA, Empowerment Scholarship Account. 
program and it allows parents to opt out of sending their kids to public or charter schools and instead you get money for your child to go attend a private school or um, money to go towards their education for homeschooling. So this last school year, I believe it was $7,000 that each that you got for each child who was going that route. And that is just like a huge game changer. Like I said, we like weren't wanting to do public school for Peter, for our kids here in Oregon. Um, but the thought of like being able to send them to a private school in Arizona, basically free is amazing or maybe we decide to homeschool and we can do that and have money that can go towards you know their curriculum and different homeschool activities or tutor like things that we may want to sign up for um i just think that it's a program that <laughs> it makes sense if you're paying taxes and your child isn't attending the public school system the fact that they give you that credit back is amazing um definitely go check it out for yourself if you're interested don't take my word for it not legal advice like you got it all of those things but um i'm really excited about that for our family and for that to be more in line with like our values and the ways that we want to raise our family and for that to be um not as much as a financial burden because of this great program that they have. Another reason we like Arizona and Phoenix is because it's just like a five hour drive to Southern California. My sister lives in Southern California and so it'll be nice to be close to her and her husband um, and just being able to be close-ish to the beach there and we love Disney, like all of those kinds of things. Um, so we're excited about that to just like have it be a little road trip versus a whole flight. Um, to get to Southern California is going to be really nice. Um, I mean, right now we're just like an hour and a half from the beach, but Oregon coast is a lot different than a Southern California beach. And along with that, another pro is having it still be on the West coast. Um, we, we're looking at Texas, which I'll, again, I'll talk about. Um, but just realizing more that you know it's further away from our family who are still here in Oregon and it just feels better to be closer to them on the west coast a quicker flight um same time zone for half the year they don't, arizona doesn't change time when we do daylight savings so at some point we'll be an hour ahead but for other parts of the of the year we'll be at the same time zone which is nice as well and then the other thing is that we have friends there so where we're moving to we're gonna be very close um to our friends and we're excited about that um some of our like closest friends are there um, so I don't know if I could have moved somewhere and not known anyone so it's, it's nice to at least know people as we're getting into it which brings me to why not Texas because if you again if you followed me again my husband and I went um, September 2021 we went to go visit Dallas um, we are very interested in the potential of moving there it 2021 was really like the wake up where we were like we feel like we want to move where do we want to go? So we visited Dallas, we really liked it. Um, we visited intentionally in early September so that we'd still experience some of the heat. And it was hot, and I also knew that that was also towards the end of the summertime. Um, so it wasn't as hot and humid as it was, you know, earlier. Um, but we really loved Dallas, and the people there were so nice. Um, at the end of the day, like, again, that kind of felt like a second honeymoon for us because it was our first trip just the two of us since our first son was born so and first like post pandemic kind of like thing so it felt like really fun to be able to do that um and so it was hard to compare the trips of arizona to texas but um you know i think we could be happy in either place i think we totally could have been happy moving to dallas i think we're totally going to be happy in arizona but as time went on like one of the things we were looking for was a lower cost of living and initially like texas we were like oh that's cheaper like looking at stuff you know online we we're like oh we could afford like much more house in texas but then as time went on like texas actually got more expensive um i also like that texas had has no state income tax though property taxes are really high um so just taking all of those things into account and like seeing then how much uh things had increased in cost it was making less and less sense because it was like getting to be more expensive also texas still has winter and not that i should be like surprised at that and arizona has winter too but um just seeing you know texas gets snow sometimes ice sometimes um more extreme weather kinds of things i know arizona is gonna have extreme weather extreme um animals <laughs> and everything too um that's the nice thing about oregon is everything's so mild we 
no extreme weather thing animals that are going to kill you none of that kind of thing um but it just rains a lot it's very dreary and sad but anyway back to back to texas i just know that in the winter time it can still get cold it can still be overcast all those all those kinds of things um so that was just another thing that we we're like ah eh, arizona kind of sounds better at that point and then again it was just further from the west coast further from family okay so what i'm sad to leave because i'll i'll end the video here with what i'm sad to leave this video is very long so i need to split it into two parts um but what i'm sad to leave obviously first off is family i'll be honest it feels like we are being stupid stupid to leave our family here um we have two little kids and it's like why would we why would we move why would we do that i can't tell you just how strong of a pull we feel to move our family out of Oregon. Um, we've just felt this calling to move. And as I'll share in the next video of just how everything has lined up in the timeline, all the details for the move, um, I, that's just kind of been validated in that. Um, but we just felt so cold for us to get out that this is unfortunately something that we have to do. And so our parents are staying here um, for both sides and hopefully we'll be able to see them frequently. And I'm very sad to be leaving them and leaving that support. And hopefully we'll find a great community in Arizona. Again, it's nice that we already know actually like several people down there and um, we'll be able to have, I know that like when you live in a place that you don't have family, your friends become family. So I'm hoping that we'll be able to get involved in community as soon as possible and um, make those connections. One thing that's been really hard for me in Oregon here um, has just kind of been the lack of community. And I know that that sounds silly because we've lived here all of our lives, but uh, Oregon, if you know, was shut down for a very, very long time because of the pandemic. Also, I'm sorry about the dishwasher. It's been going for hours. It's the noisiest thing. So sorry you've listened to that this whole video um but anyway Oregon was shut down for a very very long time with the pandemic um you know everything hit March 2020 I had my first son Peter May 2020 we were like shut in our house for a year and I feel like a lot of the connections that I had before um people then moved people whether that was out of state or even like different places in Portland um and then becoming a new mom it kind of feels isolating and a lot of the community that I had before that felt like I didn't have unfortunately didn't have a lot of after I became a mom um which is really sad so I'm sad to leave our families I honestly I hate to even say this I don't feel like I've had such a strong strong community otherwise here and that's another thing that we were like let's let's go let's find you know find community, put ourselves out there and like make those connections. So we're excited about that. And we know we need to be intentional about that when we do move. Um, and that's why too, like the, the friends who live in Phoenix, who we're going to go live near are some of our closest friends. And we're excited to be near them and near that community as well. So obviously sad to leave family. Um, the other thing that I'm sad to leave is my OB. I love her so much. She's delivered both of my boys. I saw her before that. I'm very sad to leave her and I'd like to have more kids and the thought of having her not deliver them makes me really sad. Um, I feel like that is just like such a personal thing when I've seen her for all this time and she delivered my babies and also I feel like we were pandemic trauma bonded because the last trimester of my pregnancy I went literally nowhere except for my prenatal checkups and so I just have this like special bond with her I'm very sad to be leaving my OB the other thing I'm really sad to leave is Peter's school I'm gonna miss that so much I do not have plans to enroll him um, anywhere yet in Arizona for preschool. Um, we'll have to wait till we get there and I can go visit some places, but his school here in Oregon is like the only place that I wanted to send him, could trust to send him. Um, we have like a history of his school. Um, it's actually where I went when I was a kid and it's, it's amazing. And so I'm really sad for him to leave his preschool. He just goes like two days a week. But um, that's another reason though why of, of why we wanted to move now is because we wanted to be established somewhere before he is school age. This has already been like hard enough to think of him leaving his little like school friends, even though he's three. Um, I can't imagine how much harder that would be when he is school aged. And I know that people, you know, you have to, if you have to move, you have to move. And 
people do that all the time and it, it's fine and kids adjust but it's it's hard enough as it is i think for me to like see him with his little friends and have to have him leave that um makes me sad but again hopefully we'll you know make all of those connections and things once we're in arizona but his school i'm so sad to leave i keep reminding myself like for the school and for my ob like there's other people other facilities other doctors in other places who are still great and i'm sure we'll find hopefully we'll find good ones um but it's yeah that's those are the things that i'm like most sad to leave and the next thing would be oregon summers and oregon beauty um one other thing i, for, I forgot to mention that i love about arizona is the mountains it's gorgeous arizona sunsets are amazing the sun setting over the mountains it's beautiful um it's interesting the it's very like there it's very flat and then you have mountains and in oregon it's more like rolling hills and then we have mount hood here in portland um that's on the skyline and so it's just it's beautiful here and i will miss that i will miss oregon summers again cannot be beat um but my husband jacob works remotely so that's why we have the flexibility to move wherever we want um but hopefully we'll be able to come up and visit in the summertime if i could come up here every july for two weeks i'd be a happy camper um so hopefully we can we can make that happen so that's my why video i know this was this was very long um but i'm excited to share this with you finally a lot of things have been in the works for the last seven or so months and again i will share that in the next video coming up hopefully in just like a few days or i don't know when this one will go up but hopefully very shortly after this i will share the all the details of how everything has fallen into place the more details on the house um timeline for moving all of that kind of thing um but i'm just really grateful i feel like the way everything has fallen into place has just, been, has just been very validating to God showing us that we now's our time to leave Oregon as hard as some of these things are going to be to leave we are excited for what awaits and um excited to bring you along on that on that journey as well um let me know if you have any questions down below and if you're from Phoenix and you want to wish us any uh, well wishes well wishes or give us any advice that would definitely be appreciated and um thanks for hanging out and i'll see you in the next video bye